me ask you a question. <clears throat> if I offered you a big bowl of chocolate pudding, or a big bowl of hot, fresh, steamed pretzel sprouts, which would be more appealing to you? If you say the Brussels sprouts, you're a sick, twisted freak. <laughs> <laughs> not true. <laughs> Do you ever wonder who the genius was that put the chocolate pudding in the salad bar? <laughs> Everywhere you go in, there's a salad bar. There's like, there's the veggie, and there's the radish, and there's the carrot. There's the chocolate pudding. <laughs> What's he thinking? Oh, maybe a fat person will show up today. Huh? I mean, why is that chocolate pudding there? When did chocolate pudding become salad? <laughs> See, I'm going to put together a really good salad. I mean, oh, sunflower seeds and some Vidalia onions would be good. And some carrots and maybe some cucumbers. Oh, and some chocolate pudding. <laughs> to top it all off. <laughs> And every time you watch like the salad bar, you go to like Pizza Hut, and people are getting salad. And they always got like this lettuce, and there's some potato salad, and a little cottage cheese. There's a big glob of chocolate pudding on their plate. It's like, I'm eating healthy. <laughs> I don't know who thought of that. But the truth is, food is a lot like sin in our bodies and how it works. The stuff that tastes great isn't good for you. And the stuff that's good for you doesn't taste so great.